Doctors warned they won't be sure herb therapy works until the study is finished, but Terry Markovitz can be counted among the believers. Janet St. James, Channel 8 News. You're watching Texas Cable News, covering the state of Texas 24-7, and we're back in just a moment. Central Time. You're looking at a live picture here of the World Trade Center in New York City in the financial district in Lower Manhattan. We have received reports that some type of a plane crashed into that building. No word yet on what type of a plane. We've been hearing from witnesses that it might have been a twin engine plane or even possibly a 737 commercial jet. As you can see, the smoke billowing uh, out of that building. Witnesses say they heard a huge explosion. That plane, in fact, may still be embedded in that building. Still no word on whether people are inside that building. It, of course, is 9 o'clock in New York right now, so we're still waiting to hear if people are trapped inside. We're also waiting to hear from the FAA about uh, records of planes in the area or some type of possible flight plan. As the details are still trickling in, we still don't know um, all the details, of course, but again, a live picture here of the World Trade Center in New York City in the financial district in Lower Manhattan. We're going to go ahead and listen in now to ABC. Take a listen. Three minutes or a quarter of nine. This is a time when literally tens of thousands of people are coming to work uh, at the World Trade Center. Looking at the top of the building, you mentioned there's an observation center, and uh, I don't know what time it opens, but I think it opens fairly early, and people are up there at all hours of the day families tourists coming in to look at the city of new york from atop it also there i don't know if this is the building that has the restaurant on top of it as well but in those high floors there are places where tourists team in the morning even if the regular workers weren't in and we remind you again that there was a terrorist bomb that did go off at the world trade center years ago it was down in the garage level but we have no Obviously, reason, no indication that this could have been related to that. that right. We're told that CNN does have a witness on the line right now. Let's go ahead and listen in to CNN. It inverted. With the impact, everything went inside the building. Inside. Um, the only thing that came out was a little bit of the, um, the outside awning. But I'd say the huge, the hold is, let me just get a better look right now. Okay, go ahead. We'll the, wait. Um, I'd say the hold takes about... Looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, explosions there's, oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, hold, so hold on. on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's that... exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, while the he... whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The building's still intact. People are running up the street. Uh, am the... I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. Well, that's what just happened then. That would, that certainly... Yeah, people are running up. Like, um, I, we're getting word that perhaps... Okay, hold on. The, the people here are, everybody's panicking. All right, well, Winston, you know, Winston, let me put Winston on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't know don't... how much longer I'll be staying. I'm inside of a diner right now. Well, There's Winston, you know what? If you could give us a call back, I just don't want to panic here on the air. Let's just uh, take some of our pictures from News Chopper 7. Now, one of our producers said perhaps a second plane was involved, and let's not, let's not even speculate to that point, but at least put it out there that perhaps that may have happened. Uh, the second explosion would certainly back the theory from a couple of eyewitnesses that the plane fuselage perhaps stayed in those upper buildings. Now, if you look at the second building, there are two that both Twin Towers now are on fire. Now, this was not the case, am I correct? A couple of moments ago. This is the second Twin Tower now on fire. And we're going to check on the second flight if perhaps that had happened. This all began at about 8.48 this morning. Again, what we know, in case you're just joining us, a small plane, not a Cessna type or five or six-seater, but instead 
perhaps a passenger flight ran into the north side of the World Trade Center. As you can see, the, the second explosion that you're looking at now in the second Twin Tower it has spread much debris, much more debris than the first explosion or the first accident. Uh, if there is, if, is Winston still on the line with us? Okay, he's not there, but um, do we have, I'll just talk to my producer, do we have a, an eyewitness that perhaps sees better than we do from these pictures? Again, you can see that there is debris falling off. Come on, dip. Okay, we actually have an eyewitness news reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg, who is downtown at the time, and he is on the phone with us live. Dr. Jay, what can you tell us? Hello, Steve. Um, I'm actually uptown at 86th then Riverside. I can see the World Trade Center from about half the building um, uh, up to the top. And about five minutes ago, as I was watching the smoke, um, a small plane, I... It looked like a propeller plane came in from the west and um, uh, about 20 or 25 stories below the top of the center, it disappeared for a, a second and then exploded um, uh, behind a water tower, so I couldn't tell whether it hit the building or not, but it was very visible that a plane had come in uh, at a low altitude oh, okay. and appeared to crash into the uh, World Trade Center. Dr. J, we're going to take a look at videotape just moments ago of the second plane hitting the World Trade Center. That is spectacular pictures. I don't know if you, you could see the plane, and that too was a passenger plane. If perhaps some type of navigating system or some type of electronics would have put two planes into the World Trade Center within... It looks like about 18 minutes of each other. You want to go to... We have another copy. There is the second plane, another passenger plane hitting the World Trade Center. These pictures are frightening indeed. These are just minutes between each other. So naturally, you will guess and you will speculate and perhaps ask the question, if some type of navigating equipment is awry, the two commuter planes would run into the World Trade Centers at the same time. Our director, you're speaking in my ear at this point. You are looking at live pictures right now of the World Trade Centers. Again, we now have two passenger planes within 18 minutes of each other smashing into the World Trade Centers. Dr. J, are you still with us on the phone? I'm still with you, Steve. Dr. J, this is just frightening pictures indeed, and, and I would assume, or you would naturally think that when there's... We've been listening to some of the coverage this. provided for us by our affiliate WABC out of New York City. Let's go now and check our other affiliate WNBC to get the latest... I'm sorry, WNYW. WNYW here, live coverage here of this amazing picture we're getting from Lower Manhattan. Two planes, one hitting each of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center. They come by and they say, what happened, what happened? And you just got to say, something hit the building, and then something hit both buildings. Well, we, uh, we, we saw clearly, uh, we didn't see the first one, but we saw clearly that a plane uh, deliberately crashed into the, one of the upper floors of the World Trade Center. That was the second plane. So two planes uh, crashed into the uh, upper floors of each of the World Trade Center towers. And I'm just, uh, I understand now that uh, Port Authority headquarters are in uh, one of those buildings somewhere near that location. Uh, Jim, I, I yes. don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or to be more specific. Some people said they thought they saw a missile. Well, I don't know how people could dis dis differentiate, but we might keep mm -hmm. open the possibility that this was a missile attack mm -hmm. uh, on these buildings. Uh, Ali, I must say that uh, we have an eyewitness who said it was a large plane that crashed first. And then uh -huh. as, as we were watching the live picture here in the studio, we saw a plane Mm. Crash into the crash into the other tower of the World Trade Center, and again, let's uh, just to be sure. Th there oh, it is. Oh. There it is. The plane mm. went right through mm. the other tower of the World Trade Center. That is a very hard thing to watch. And clearly, these are incredible pictures that we're watching this morning. These, thanks to our affiliate WNYW in New York, you are looking at this at this picture. It is the twin towers of the World Trade Center. 
both of them being damaged by impacts from planes. We saw one happen at about maybe nine minutes before the top of the hour, and just moments ago, so maybe 18 minutes after the first uh, impact, the second tower was impacted with a, by another, what appeared to be another passenger plane. Uh, in fact, we've got some tape replay of that. Do we have the tape available right now? Here's the plate. Here is the tape. You see the plane coming in from what looks like the east side, and it blows into the building with the flames and the smoke billowing out the other side of the tower. It's hard for me to tell exactly which is the north side and which is the south side, but it appears it's coming out of the north side there. Incredible pictures. These happened just moments ago. And I believe we have someone with us on the line, Ira Firmer. So if we have Ira Firmer, the former NTSB spokesman, and you're watching these pictures as well with us, are you not? Yeah, I'm with you on CNN. What, what can you make of what we have seen, and particularly with this replay we just saw moments ago? That's absolutely inexplicable. There, there shouldn't be any aircraft in that area, much less something heading what looked like deliberately for the World Trade Center Tower. You don't think there's any way this could be any kind of an accident, no kind of a navigational equipment failure or some sort of a, a navigational quirk by a beacons or whatever? No, you've got incredibly good visibility at this point, and no pilot is going to be relying on navigational equipment uh, in such a circumstance that would uh, cause them to crash into the World Trade Center. How far out of the way from an approach to either LaGuardia or Kennedy would a plane have to be to hit the World Trade Center? There are approaches that uh, come up uh, along the Hudson River, which is to the west of the World Trade Center, uh, and those aircraft usually wind up going into LaGuardia. So you can come within uh, a mile or two of the World Trade Center, but uh, it is such a visible object as you're approaching New York City that uh, it's just not possible for a pilot during the daytime uh, to have taken uh, a course that would put it right into the World Trade Center. A uh, second occurrence uh, within a few minutes is beyond belief. And as you can see, there definitely is no weather problem, so uh, weather would be uh, uh, definitely ruled out as a factor in this case. Yes, the course is a normal course. I mean, for commercial pilots coming into New York, it certainly appeared uh, from the video on CNN that uh, the uh, second aircraft was heading for the tower and uh, that it was a commercial-sized aircraft. Could you tell, uh, have a better idea about what size that plane was? It was kind of hard for me to tell. You're an expert in these matters. Could you look at that tape and tell what size that plane was? Uh, it would have to be slowed down, and uh, you'd need more than one angle for it because you'd want to see how many engines on it, uh, the shape of the tail. Well, if it's, if it's possible, gang, could we, guys, could we go ahead and replay that tape right now? Do we have the tape ready? of the second plane impacting. We've got, we're going to put that tape on in just a second. Here, we're about to roll it now. Uh, if you can, sir, I, I don't want you to, spe to speculate, but if you can, give us an idea of what you think might be at play here. What kind of plane we're talking about, or at least what size. If we're talking about one that would hold, say, 100 people, one that would hold 300 people. Uh, from the, what you see, you know, we can we'll have to back the tape up further than that, guys. Here we go. It's very hard to get a perspective on it. Uh... I don't know how far away we are at this, but that looks to me um, like it could be uh, certainly a passenger jet and uh, one of those aircraft that could hold 100 or more people. Uh, I caution you at this point uh, to wonder whether or not that airplane was occupied by more than just a pilot or a crew. Um, we don't necessarily know that there were any passengers aboard that airplane. Understood. Understood. Uh, Darren Kagan joining the conversation here, sir, but there's no indication that there would be any air traffic on purpose in the area of the World Trade Center at this time of day, or any time of day for that matter. Well, not directly into the World Trade Center. No, but you even be, close to it. You would be clearing the World Trade Center by a few miles. Normal operations. And when you're looking at the pictures that you see uh, with all the smoke and fire and all that, it's just absolutely unbelievable to think that a flight crew uh, that wouldn't ordinarily see the World Trade Center, wouldn't ordinarily be on course, would now not see this as a flaming beacon to avoid. Let me ask you this about the airspace. Given that it appears that two different airplanes have flown into the World Trade Center in 18 minutes, is it possible to shut down that airspace and keep another plane from doing something just like it? 
I don't think that this represents an accident. And so I don't think that we're talking about having to now